lead intoxication is important problem in many countries. Million young children live in older homes, in which lead-based paint was previously used. And as this old paint ages, it peels, flakes, and crumbles into dust. And young kids commonly getting lead intoxication. Second common reason of lead poisoning is tap water. It can be polluted with lead, secondary due to lead containing pipes. Also plumbers who have contact with lead, because pipes sometimes containing lead. In many countries leaded gasoline is still available. Lead contaminated air from emissions is a major source of exposure. And massively people exposure with lead. Symptoms. Children with lead poisoning have cognitive and behavioral problems. If not treated in time, may develop mental retardation and cerebral edema and sometimes coma. Lead poisoning also causes abdominal pain, constipation, and anorexia. Lead also goes to kidneys and causes tubular necrosis. As you see, lead acts almost all organ systems. It causes also microcytic anemia. Adult central nervous system is already developed. That's why lead poisoning causes different symptoms in adults. Mainly neuropathy and sensory problems. Diagnosis. Blood lead level is increased. Plus symptoms and patient history. Hundreds of thousands of children have elevated blood lead concentrations. But the vast majority of them are asymptomatic. Meaning they have no symptoms. But here a problem. Intelligent reduction. The higher concentration of lead in the blood, it cases more reduction of intelligence of kid. IQ reduction. Treatment. The most aspect of management in a patient with an elevated blood lead concentration is identifying the source of lead and removing it from the patient's environment. Children with a blood lead concentration higher than 45 microgram to deciliter Adults with a blood lead concentration of over 70 to 100 microgram to deciliter, or any patient with lead encephalopathy, which is usually accompanied by a markedly elevated blood lead concentration, should undergo collation therapy under the direction of a medical toxicologist.